you've been uploading your streaming content onto other platforms such like YouTube and TikTok and Hover and everything and just realize that the quality just isn't that great. Well, thanks to Hyperstrike over in the streamer bot Discord, I'm here to show you guys the coolest way to create clips and to also thank the community for actually making them for you. Huge love again for Hyperstrike for making this. All of his links are going to be down below. Make sure you go subscribe to him and everything like that. Absolute legend of a fella. Let's TP over to the computer and take a look. If you do enjoy the video, by the way, do not forget to hit like and subscribe. We stream on this channel every now and again as well. So if you have any questions, you can even come ask me live. I'll of course have the import string down below. Basically, we're just gonna take this and open up our streamer bot. So once you open up streamer bot, click on the import button up here. In the import string, paste in what's down in the description and then just press the import button. What you ha should have now is a new action called create clip via OBS. And inside that, there's just one thing, an execute code. What's really great about this is how it actually lays it out and formats everything. Now, yes, this does use the OBS replay buffer, but this just changes it up so greatly. So for example, you set where it's gonna save the replay buffer. When you have this set up to a chat command, whatever they put after the command, so let's say if they type exclamation mark clip, this is a test, that video file is gonna be called, this is a test, so you know what clip is actually what when you're going to upload stuff. It also captures the person's username as well who actually created it. So you can credit them, say thank you. If they try to do a clip, but they don't actually specify a name, it just won't create the clip. And it's gonna tell them that, hey, you know, you didn't create a name. So basically the clip didn't save. There's three things you're gonna to wanna to change. You're gonna to have to change where your clips are currently being saved. You need to then specify where you want them to be saved. And then number three is that you need to manually actually select which format that you're actually outputting at. If you're not sure what file format your clips are gonna be saved in, head over to output, head into recording, and then you should be able to see here the recording format. Your replay buffers get saved to where your recordings are, okay? So we can see my recording path is D slash rec and we see that they're MP4 format. So now let's take a look at this code. You're gonna to wanna to change this to where it is set, and it's also, remember, this code is in C sharp, so it might be formatted a little differently. For example, mine is just D colon slash slash rec slash slash, and then I want them to be outputted to D colon slash slash clip slash slash. If you go down here, you can see that there's a filter set up for specific file types. By default, that's MKV, but I actually do all my clips and videos in mp4 so i had to change that to star.mp4 rather than mkv all you want to do then is press compile make sure you have no errors and then press save and compile what you want to do then is just go back into streamer bot and create a new command you want to call it anything you want exclamation mark clip for example give it a give it a group anything you want then just set an action and make sure that is the create clip via obs make sure that youtube message is the one that's selected and you're not trying to do this through twitch or anything like that it's not available on Twitch right now. The link is going to be down below for Hyperstrike's GitHub for when he will release the Twitch version. I could probably do it, but you know, I'm just, this is his code. We're just showcasing his code today. As you can see, I've already done a few tests, but I'm just going to show you one more time. So I'm going to call this estimation mark clip. It's like, oh, that was a real funny moment. Okay. You got that fam. Okay. Just do that. Give it about two seconds because there's a two second delay. But then once we open up our rec, that's not there. There are some there just from my testing. But if we go into clip, here we can see you got that fam clip by IRL create. So it shows you who clipped it and what the name of it is. And why is it is saving as an MKV file? You should also change this part as well. So if you are saving as MP4s, I'm going to actually just rename that. So save that as an MP4 rather than an MKV. Again, it just depends on what you want to do with it. Me, for example, DaVinci Resolve doesn't really like MKV files, so that's why I use MP4. If you want to ensure you do have the highest quality clips being saved by this, just so all you have to do is this. Head over into your OBS settings, click on Output. So here we can see this would be your recording sentence. This probably looks like something like 5,500 or 6,000. You have your qualities and everything like that, whatever, depending on what encoder that you're using. In the recording tab, however, this is where you can actually change stuff. So as you can see here, I'm recording in 20 megabytes a second. It's literally four times the file size of a Twitch stream. So I'd honestly recommend upping the bitrate up to as much as you can, really. It is going to depend on your hardware and everything like that. 20 megabytes a second is, to be honest, like 
perfect for the vast majority of people. You could even lower that down to even let's say 15 if you want it. If you're clever enough as well, if you do play copyrighted music in the background of your streams and you don't want that on your clips, you could assign that to a separate audio track inside of OBS and then just ensure that it's not on whatever audio track this video is pulling in right here. If you don't understand how to do all that, make sure that you subscribe and we're gonna be going through it at a later time. And while I actually have you, check out that video right there. Peace.